made the decision. We're hauling the boom lift over to the job site so we can get that side of roof done. They're calling snow all week and uh, so we just want to make sure we get this roof on, get closed up. So I'll see you guys at site. All right, we're on site and we just got the boom lift unloaded and we're gonna start framing up this back fascia tails and whatnot. So now we got the MRT 260. Over there's the, uh, I think that's a 450 AJ, so it's a 40 foot boom with a five foot jib, which is really handy when you wanna stick out somewhere 40 feet, but then have that extra five foot of like up and down so you can really like almost get up and then lower your boom down into a nice area. Greg's uh, beat us to sight because we had to load up the machinery, so he's, looks like you got almost the fascia done, huh, Greg? Awesome. What? Ooh, Greg's working hard this morning. Must have. What's that? 2019, new year, new me. 2019, Greg's actually gonna work hard this year. Great, that is, hey, that is good news, my friend. Thank you. You know, we all grow, we all develop, and uh, Greg's, Greg's turned into a quite a fine post framer. I don't know if it's gonna really focus, but there's a uh, six foot deep trench right behind me and a bunch of frozen dirt that we can't drive the lift. I was able to kind of prep this area right here with the skid loader. I had to bust into some frozen piles of dirt. That way we can at least get the uh, 3394 mega deck there with the steel on the roof or for the roof. And then I also prepped this area here so that we can get the 260 in. Thankfully worked out because there's a tree right here. Challenges. It's never, it's never just quite perfectly easy. There's always something on every job and I believe we'll overcome it. Today we will get this roof on. It's kind of hazy. Uh, it's really crummy out right now, but there's no wind so it's good for roofing and this little bit of moisture in the air will actually provide us with some good traction uh, with our sneakers up there. So we always use a sneaker. People always are like, oh, nice safety toed boots on the roof. Why would you wear a pair of boots on the roof? What are you gonna drop on your toe? Um, I suppose if you're on a you know, commercial site where they require that, but out here, we're worried more about being safe, which is good traction. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't really used a pair of boots with steel toes that are superbly um, made for roofing, but I know there are some brands out there. So give me your guys' thoughts if there's a great roofing boot. But here's the other side of it. We like to have a dedicated pair of shoes specifically for roofing that we keep in the trailer and we only put on when we get up on the metal roof. That way we can be uh, sure that we're gonna keep it clean and free of scratches. Maybe if there's a little rock in your boot. Hmm, my phone's ringing. What do you know? Now we just gotta drive it all the way over to our scissor lift, the 3394. It's really sloped back there. Dirt work didn't get done phenomenally. The weather was crummy. So now we gotta kind of deal with it and it's no big deal. That's why I bought that boom lift was for the job sites just like this. I put it in my bid to have 12 feet of clear space. Um, doesn't always happen. And uh, I always struggle with whether I'm gonna charge a customer for that after it says it in the contract or if I'm just gonna kind of let it go. Uh, I kind of always wait and try to determine how much time it lost us. And so far, I mean, everything we're doing is basically the same. And uh, my guess is it'll add a couple hours to the job, not being able to run that scissor lift straight through that wall. But thankfully I've got this machinery that helps me do the job. Sometimes I think it's crazy that we have two scissor lifts, a boom lift, skid loader, 
and they're all here on this job site, which typically I would never bring that much machinery onto one job site. But what's what's important about that is just that each one of them has like a different purpose. The mega deck, I mean, that thing is like all purpose. We wanna use that all the time when we can, but it can't do everything. It's too wide to fit between trusses, so we need the 260 MRT in order to like really safely and efficiently hang trusses. And the MRT also is like that secondary lift that we keep on site just for, we got three guys and we're not all gonna sit in one lift because that's not very efficient. So um, most of our work is up in the air as soon as the building is framed. So we've got to have that lift for that secondary purpose. And then the boom lift, I kind of bought that just because sometimes we deal with residential areas that are just not conducive to big open sites. I hate hauling it. It's uh, not really that great to work out of because it's not that big, but it definitely puts you in places that you would never get with the scissor lift. And it avoids me from having to use a ladder. So uh, you gotta have the right piece of machinery for the right job and maybe i think i will do a video in the future of all these machinery pieces you know costs and ideas and thoughts on them and let me know down below in the comments if that's a video you guys would like to see good Baby, baby, you the best. Baby, you the best. The best I ever had. Wish we had a radio. Nah, that's overrated. My voice is all you need, Greg. Here I am thinking we're friends. We are friends until you start thinking. Oh, that is the same thing. Thank you. Pick it up, bro. I'm trying. Got you, dude. So now the real fun begins because we've got to now, Greg is gonna be in the 3394 and he's gonna be picking up and turning the sheets of steel. Then Zach is gonna take them, oh he's, I hate wearing harnesses. Um, speaking of, speaking of, let's see if I can reach this. Flexibility's not my strong point anymore. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're back up, you're bunched up. Your straps are in the way. Thanks, buddy. Hit me. All right, now we're good. Um, Zach's gonna take the sheets up, then we're gonna walk them over, and then I've got here, I'm in the JLG 450, which is the boom lift, and that's gonna, we're gonna get over this, uh, we're gonna get over this pit I'm working underneath, or over top. Down, okay, which, which side are you going on? You, yeah, you gotta be on that side. You always try to keep that curve as it goes. Yep. I mean, just get your left hand. Here, I'm gonna look past you. Okay. Yep. Just find, find that balance point. Yeah. 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 Trying to do. <laughs> you just want to hold it for a while? I thought he'd be quicker. It's about as quick as you are. No, man. Remember, Zach, I got the bottom one, Zach. I'm licking slit quick.
No, that's gross. This is why you tie your boots. You don't gotta get all four off. Two at the most is fine. That way we can just keep, we can keep moving here. That oh. way YouTube doesn't think I, I'm lazy or anything. Oh dude, the tube is gonna be like, does Greg even work? He just sits in the lid. <laughs> Oh, that's a beautiful pick. Dude, you did. Beautiful pick. Wow. Can you do this side? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Well, we made it to the center area where we had to use the boom lift. Now we're on to the 260 MRT. So I'm super thankful that we got all this different equipment because way over there, we still got the 3394 holding all the machine. Don't move. Holding the sheets for us. Don't move. Don't move. We gotta do a little bit of a dance here with the sheets, but it's working out pretty good. Got it. So, you know, I think when we started this job, we were like, how are we gonna do that backside, man? The, the dirt's frozen, we can't flatten it out. Uh, there's a big pit and tile or whatever uh, trench in our way um, and I think you know you always find out a way to do it this didn't work out too bad I bet it added a couple hours to our day but uh, in the end we're gonna get it done it's not that big of a deal I had to scotch a little more dude. come on a little more a little more oh stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it Well, like, like normal, we worry about nothing. This really wasn't that hard. It wasn't even that big of a deal. Hmm. It's always cool when customer messages you, a previous customer, and they're watching your YouTube channel. So, you never know. Uh, maybe my, my next customer is watching this right now. So that's kind of cool. I don't usually get this kind of time because I'm spinning, turning, screwing, and just working the whole time, but this is kind of nice. <laughs> like that, boys! Last one. Okay. Then it's lunchtime. That's I'm, my motivation. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Since there's not a thing on here, I need to make sure I'm straight before I screw it. Oh yeah, it's money. What am I worried about? Uh, Greg, can you get like one through the middle there at least? You know that first? Just get one right there through the middle. Yep. And then uh, I'll meet you guys down. Let's go get some lunch. Sure feels good to get that roof done. Now when we come back from lunch, we can go ahead and finish screwing the roof off. And who knows, maybe we can start putting some of that side steel on the north side. It'd be a pretty great way to end the day with three sides of steel done, the roof done, and then bring on the snowstorm, whatever. It is what it is. Not a whole lot today. Uh, after fighting that north side of the roof, we were able to get our bottom wainscot on that north side, our house wrap on the north side, and then we kind of spent the rest of the day uh, buttoning up all of our loose ends, getting a lot of screws done. Uh, we did get the ridge cap done on the roof. I was taking a business call, so I didn't get that on camera, unfortunately, but no big deal. You've seen us do that before. The last day before the weekend, before this snowstorm, we can tidy up a lot, get a lot buttoned up on the outside, and hopefully put as much steel on this building as possible to keep it uh, 
you know, away from as much weather as possible because that's just going to make our lives easier in the future when we start doing our interior work. I'm going to keep screwing. We've got a lot of screws to put in this building and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Now, like always, I appreciate you guys' support, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Maybe drop a comment down below what you thought about the video. Hit that thumbs up because uh, it's nice to hear and uh, get the feedback from you guys on these videos. Um, but other than that, not really a whole lot to say. Definitely appreciate the support, and we'll see you guys on the next video.